Hello and welcome to another tutorial by Happy Cloud Solutions. Today we'll be looking at how to create an MSIX package that will be usable for Azure Virtual Desktop. So today what we're going to do is we're going to pick an application and we're going to convert the application to MSIX and then after that we are also going to convert it to a CIM file and that would now be usable to be uploaded to the Azure Virtual Desktop in order for us to do app attach. All right, so let's get to it. So for this purpose, you would need to go to your Microsoft Store on your laptop and download the MSIX packaging tool, okay? So as you can see here, this is already downloaded and I'm just gonna click on open, all right? And then, when it opens up, it's going to enable me to upload the package that I want to convert to MSIX format. So now let us get that package. That's, let's get the application that we are actually going to convert. Okay. So I'm going to use Potty. Okay. So I'm just going to go online and I'm going to download a Potty, you know, application. So let's click on download Potty. And then I'm just gonna download this one, the first one here that says um, Potty 64-bit 0.8 installer.msi, all right? So that is downloaded. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is to go back to the Microsoft Packaging tool and then begin my conversion. So you wanna select create your app package, okay? So just click on this, click on this up here. And then it says create package on this computer, on remote machine, local virtual machine. For this, I'm gonna select package on this computer and I'll select next. So I'm gonna click on Windows search is active so that I can disable it, all right? Because it's recommended that you disable it. Okay, so now I'll click on next. So then I'm gonna choose the location I'm going to actually choose the location where this potty file was downloaded. Here it is. So now this is the packet I want to convert. Sign in preference. You can select any of the preference. For now, I'll just select do not sign package. But it's important that you select one of these sign in preference when you're going to, you know, use this application. All right, click on next. So I'm just going to change this name because that is not accepted the way it's written just take off some things all right so for this one just put a cn in front equals to leave everything else as it is installation location i'm just gonna put it on my desktop all right so then choose accelerator package it is optional i'm not going to go with that so just continue so right now it's began you know it's set up so here you see welcome to the potty setup wizard just click on next so it says that you know because this application is already on my laptop but i'm just going to click on prepare okay because I have already installed this on my system. So I'm just doing this again for this demo. So let's do this. So now finish, next. All right, I'm gonna select this one. Next, yes, move on. I'm just gonna click on next, next. So I'm just gonna create this. All right. So it seems like everything is going out well. Save, save, close. All right, so now let me bring up the MSIX package that was just created for us, okay? We can see right here that I've just created a potty MSIX file, all right? And this is what is going to be needed for our next, you know, 
part of this demo. So now the next thing is to go to the Microsoft link that has been provided to be able to convert your MSIX package to CIM. And for that link, I'm gonna drop it in the comment section of this YouTube video. So every link that you need to go to, you can just check it at the comment section of this YouTube video. So now let's go to that link. So navigating to the Microsoft link, you see that there's a documentation that has been released for creating an MSIX image to use with AppAttach. All right, so right here, you see this link that says download this tool. So now you need to download this tool. So just click on this and then it will download. When you're done downloading, it's gonna download as a zip file. Extract it into a folder, okay? And take note of the location where you extracted that tool. So now the next thing is to open your terminal on your laptop and you have to run it as an administrator. And then the other prerequisite is, that is needed is the MSIX package application. And from the previous steps we just did, you just saw that we've already created a potty um, MSIX packaged application, okay? So now we have all this, you've downloaded it, you've extracted it into a folder. So now let's go to the terminal and run the script to be able to convert this MSIX file into a CIM file that will be usable for Azure Virtual Desktop. So now that we've opened the CMD terminal as an administrator, you, what you want to do is go to the directory where you downloaded this MSIX manager, all right? So I'm going to that directory and I'm clicking enter to go to this exact directory. All right, so I'm in this directory, okay? So it's important, ensure you're in the directory where the MSIX manager tool was just downloaded, all right? So the next thing is you wanna paste, um, copy and paste this command. And um, I would leave the command for you also in the comment section so you don't have to write it out yourself. So I will just run us through this command so we understand what is being pasted here. So starting from here, it says MSIX manager.exe. So this is basically referring to the executable file that we just downloaded. And then it says hyphen unpack package path. So now this package path is referring to the path where the MSIX file that we just converted is sitting, all right? So you remember earlier on, we had converted an application to an MSIX file. So this is the location of the application. Now this one is the destination. So right here, I created a folder in my downloads directory named my app. And then inside that folder, there is nothing in it. So this potty.cim is just a name that I'm giving the file that will be created in this process. And everything here just, you know, adds the command to create the CIM. So let's go ahead and press enter. So if you notice, this one that I ran here failed. And it failed because I was not in the right folder, okay? So what I now had to do was to CD into X64. And this is basically what I'm talking about. If you extract this into, you know, extract it from the zip folder, you're gonna have two folders here, X64 and S86. So you have to go into one of them, all right? And I selected the X64. Then I ran this same command again, no alterations, the same thing. All I had to do was just enter the right directory. And after I did that, you can see here, it says successfully created the CIM file. So here is the putty.cim file that I just created. It literally went to the directory that I specified, which is my apps under downloads. Like I said earlier, it's gonna go into the folder that you specify here, and it's gonna take the name that you specify. So here it goes putty.cim. Every other file in this folder was created together with the CIM file. I know that there's been a lot of moving parts in this whole process, but I just hope that you've been able to understand how to convert any application into an MSIX package and then convert that package into a CIM file, all right? 
To learn more about preparing an application or even publishing an application to Azure Virtual Desktop, you can reach out to Happy Cloud Solutions via the Contact Us form on our website. The link to our Contact Us form is provided here. And you can also send us an email at htstutors at happycloudsolutions.com. It's always nice helping you to learn something new. Leave your comments below, like, subscribe. Let's keep this going. See ya.